weather scope. A huge winter storm continues to disrupt many eastern states this morning. Flooding is a major concern in coastal areas that are being battered by rain, high winds, and heavy surf. Meanwhile, farther inland, heavy snow has been the problem. Good morning, I'm Marshall Cease. Welcome to WeatherScope. We've got special coverage, including on-location reports. With all the details, here's Cheryl Lemke in our forecast center. Thanks, Marshall, and good morning. Well, we're still seeing a very powerful storm system plaguing the east. In fact, it's the second big storm system to pound the east in two weeks. So it's been really a tough time throughout the eastern part of the country. Taking a look at the latest satellite imagery, you can see our low-pressure system has not really moved a whole lot. It's a very slow-moving storm system that is still positioned just off the coast of North Carolina. The counterclockwise circulation around the low continues to pull in moisture from off the Atlantic, and we actually have have wraparound moisture that's fairly far extensive. It curls back all the way through the Ohio Valley, and we've had a potpourri of weather conditions, ranging from ice and snow to the wind and the rain. So it's been very, very rough. And the rains really have been quite excessive. At Virginia Beach, Virginia, we've had over seven inches of rain. And at least this morning, according to the local police department, there's been massive street flooding, some of the schools were closed, and some of the condos on the Chesapeake Bay side had to be evacuated because officials were fearful that the buildings may collapse into the water. And in fact, some of those did actually collapse and break down earlier, and we were showing you pictures of that earlier today. Now, our low-pressure system, again, just slowly inching along, pulling off the coast. And what we really notice is that we have some tightly packed isobars indicating a tight pressure gradient, and that spells some very strong winds. Winds are strong all the way over towards Long Island at this point. Around Block Island, too, we've had some wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, and that pretty much will be the case for the next several hours until the storm system finally pulls away. Now, right along the coast, mainly a rain event with temperatures still staying very chilly, 30s and lower 40s. A little bit farther inland, though, we start to pick up the ice, which is showing up in the areas shaded in orange. And then we have some scattered snows, though, that persist throughout parts of the Ohio Valley. So it's been really a mess for the morning commute. And it's still kind of tough going this morning right there around Connecticut. Still reports of some freezing rain around Hartford and Danbury, Connecticut, making a slow go for the Merritt Parkway. Temperatures have eased up a little bit around New York City. Still cold rain, though, for JFK and LaGuardia, and the rain stretching over towards the Hamptons and out towards Montauk Point. We've had some spotty rain, too, for Philadelphia, and we've had some rain interspersed with some sleet and freezing rain on into Pittsburgh. One thing that we do notice is that the precipitation is breaking apart somewhat. A little dry slot now developing for parts of central New York and central Pennsylvania. But there's a big surge of moisture just off the coast, and that, too, will start to pinwheel inland. And there we go again, the weather's still staying very unsettled and very messy throughout the coastal regions. Now, another aspect of this storm system has been the winds. As we were mentioning, very strong winds. Winds uh, from Long Island up through Block Island and right around the Cape area have been gusting over 40 miles an hour. So gale and storm warnings have been posted. And because we have a strong east and northeasterly fetch that's going to be continuing today, coastal flood advisories also in effect, and that will cause problems for the mariners with heavy surf advisories also remaining throughout this area. Now, one place that has been rather hard hit has been up in Massachusetts, and we have live coverage of the storm. We have Kristen Dodd, who's been in Winthrop, Massachusetts. Now, so far, Kristen, this morning we had a little bit of sleet, some rain, some strong winds. What's the latest right now from Winthrop? Well, Cheryl, all of the above, as we do continue to see that sleet kind of spitting down upon us as well as that rain, and that is causing just a few problems out there, but for the most part, the heavy precipitation has ended in Massachusetts, and we're not expecting that to build up for this afternoon. So that aspect of the storm is pretty much over here in southern New England. But what is it over? The strong winds, and they are howling. We are on Winthrop Beach, which is a small spit of land that extends out into Massachusetts Bay with Boston just to off to our right. And this area kind of protects Boston a little bit from the strong winds. Out at Logan Airport, their wind gusts now at about 31 miles an hour. But here on the exposed beaches, we are seeing gusts, according to a buoy out in the bay, at 50 miles an hour. And that, with a temperature of about 36 degrees, puts our wind chill at 6 degrees below zero. As that area of low pressure continues to move out to sea, we're going to continue to see those northeasterly winds. And you can see that happening right now behind me. 
Now normally on a nice summer day we would see the waves here at about six inches but they have been pounding the beach. We are now entering a low tide period so it's a little bit calmer but a little bit farther out to sea we have seen the waves at about 14 feet. The next high tide comes late this afternoon around 5.30. We'll see these waves come up again and we could see another possibility of some minor beach erosion here along the coast and also southward down toward Plymouth and Cape Cod. We'll continue to keep you posted as this storm develops. Cheryl? Thanks, Kristen. We appreciate your insight on the storm system. Now, this has really been a multifaceted storm system because besides producing the wind and the rain, we've also had reports of locally heavy snow. And there were parts of the Appalachians and parts of the Ohio Valley that actually picked up over a foot of snow. Now, Finsel, Maryland, which is in Garrett County, picked up 20 inches of snow. There's still some snow occurring throughout the Ohio Valley. We do see some darker shades of green, which is for the most part representative of where there's still some patchy freezing rain, which is basically taking place around Dayton, Ohio, and over towards the Columbus area. Rain, or at least the snow, really winding down at this particular point. For the most part, though, additional accumulations ranging between one and three inches. Quite possibly, though, three to six inches of snow for parts of southern Indiana. And there we have winter storm warnings in effect. But here's some good news for you. The storm is finally going to be pulling out and weather conditions really improving, we think, by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning's rush hour, not half as bad as this morning. Well, there's some active weather elsewhere around the country, too, including the West. And with more details about that, let's go back to the studios and Marshall Cease. Marshall? Thanks, Cheryl. There sure is a lot going on out west. Things don't look real good in California. Only seeing light rain in parts of the state this morning, but the rain and the winds are going to pick up later in the day today, and yet another system will come in from the Pacific and further drench an already saturated region. Where we've got reports right now of moderate rain around Oakland, Redding, Sacramento, same places that got it yesterday, and no end in sight, I'm sorry to say. We've got a storm track that's just kind of locked over the region. You can see it out here in the Pacific pumping in moisture into northern and central California and more energy on its way to that region too for the next four or five days. Cheryl will look at the next five days by the way coming up in uh, no, she wants you to look at the winter weather update, but you want to see the five-day planner next half hour because uh, it's going to spell some trouble for the West, maybe give you an idea of where the heaviest rain is going to be. Meanwhile, Heavy rain right now around Oakland to the north. Salinas, Monterey, not getting any rain at this hour. There's been some very, very bad problems out here due to all that heavy rain. Over eight inches at places like Big Sur, for example. And to the north in Washington and Oregon, that's mostly light rain. About a third of an inch over the last 24 hours. And as the warm front approaches, we're going to get some snow in the Sierra, but it's going to raise the snow levels first in advance of the cold front. But then when the cold front moves on shore later today and tomorrow, we're going to get some Thank <laughs> you.